Willie Tao, held as the founding father of Chinese modern dance, has been practicing the art for more than 30 years. Running three major modern dance companies in China, Tao is the mind behind many well-known modern dance pieces. For the past 30 years, he has been eagerly passing on his knowledge to his troop members. It's been 10 years since Tao founded Beijing's LDTX dance company and he is busy training and supervising the rehearsals of his troop members. I got the opportunity to take a front seat to watch their rehearsal and to interview Willie Tao several days before their anniversary performance of the Spring Equinox. And the first show for 2015 is the Spring Equinox. Equinox. Yes, right. This is a program uh, featuring the uh, dancers' own choreography. So every year we have this kind of uh, exercise for our dancers to express themselves, uh, uh. to be creative. Uh, it's more of an encouragement. Uh, right. You know, so uh, I just saw some of their works and I think it's very interesting. And I hope people can come and support them. So this is like an annual, annual practice yes, each right, year. Yeah, yeah. Each year we have this uh, uh, spring equinox, or if it happened in summer, we call it summer solstice. And so it's uh, it's uh, for our um, artist uh, workshop. Mm -hmm. So it's a work in progress. A lot of works are not really finished, but I think it's interesting because you see from the work how these young people are thinking. The performance was held at the LDTX Theatre at the end of March and pulled in many enthusiastic modern dance fans. Most of them are young, including students majoring in dance. First of all, I like modern dance very much. This dance makes my body feel so relaxed. Watching modern dance can improve my knowledge in choreography and enrich my experience and sensitivity to dance. I think modern dance expresses the inner self of dancers. You don't have to totally understand watching it and feeling comfortable. That's enough. Modern dance or contemporary dance, whatever the name we use, <laughs> what is the, um, you know, the magical power of mm. modern dance to you? And okay. why, what do you love modern dance most about? Okay, uh, first of all, dance is about physical, it's about body. Yes. So for me, human body is the most beautiful thing, the most mysterious thing.
it's the most direct thing because you don't lie with the body. You know, with words, I can lie. I love you. I love you. I love you. But from the body, you can see it's not true. If I love you,、mm -hmm. you know your the body is the most direct tool to express. So a lot of people they say, okay, I don't understand modern dance or not understand dance because they try to look at a form, look at、uh, some message. But the message is so direct that already there. People are so not used to enjoy the body. Sometimes, especially Chinese people, we are shy at looking at others people. You know, we want to see good costumes. We want to see makeups. We want to see story. But dance is the most direct thing. You know, we, especially contemporary dance, we are coming, standing there. It's our body. Can you see it? But a lot of people they refuse. To look at it, because they they are shy from that directness, that confrontation. A lot of、uh, audience, the the dance lovers, it's those people who dare to appreciate other people's body. I think contemporary dance. If you want to understand dance, this is the first thing you have to break down. Right. You know, to really okay, I take in the image of the human being. This group of young foreigners was among the audience that evening, and they are eager to learn about the contemporary art of China through this show. Yeah, we've seen lots of traditional old architecture, and tonight we get to see something much more modern.、Um, I guess I'm looking forward to seeing what、uh, what it looks like to see the the what's considered to be the best modern dance company in China. Modern dance incorporates elements from classic dance, ballet, and folk dance, but it's not limited by any of them. Willie Tao says personality and creativity are two traits of the art form. Audiences are easily touched by the dancers' honest expression of themselves through body movement. I think modern art's really great, especially modern dance, because it leaves a lot of the work up to the spectator.、Um, you have to have your own interpretation. I think we have very different interpretations of the same things we watch, and that's why it's so great to go to shows together because we can talk about it afterwards and discuss each other's own feelings about the show. And I come from a dance background; I'm a dance teacher, so I have a very different take on it than he does, from more of a math and science background. I thought the performance was beautiful. The choreographer was choreography was amazing, and the dancers were stunning. It was a wonderful, wonderful show. Well, so this is the、uh, the venue where you do rehearsals, where you also perform. Yes, right. This is our own theater, the company theater. Right. We usually perform our smaller works, or more inventive works, or in,、uh, maybe avant-garde works here. Because it's a smaller capacity with、um, how many people? Two hundred twenty. Two hundred twenty. Yeah. So we don't really、uh, have this、uh, pressure for like selling a lot of tickets.、Mm -hmm. But the people they come, they are usually the、uh, very well informed, very well educated, and those、uh, who have the passion of modern dance, and they come to this theater to see our work. But the thing is, really, I mean, you've been working on modern dance for. A Over three decades、mm -hmm. already,、yeah. and you have different troops in, in three different cities.、Yes. Still, we are still talking about a small audience, a right, small yeah, venue. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yes, of course. I think、uh, modern dance—it's、uh, so 
valuable and so precious because it is very exclusive to a very well trained, sophisticated group of people. It's never meant to be a, uh, uh, a work for a large or mass audience. You know, it is not a popular song that mm. you need to have all these people to come to to uh, enjoy it, but you need the right kind of audience. So, like, if, if you, you choose get, audience, yes, of course, words. and cho audience choose us, and we choose the audience. Like, um, if you come to think of it, you know, the uh, traditional art like calligraphy, yes, or the uh, wu qing, mm -hmm. you, know, you never play it to the uh, in the Coliseum, crowd, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. right? You know, you play t to your friends that they really come to listen to you, try to understand you through the music or through the art. So the art is a very personal communication. It's never meant to be entertainment or never meant to be uh, uh, advertisement that you need to reach to the largest possible amount of people. So um, I think if a sophisticated city that should allow room for this kind of activities and this, you know, the existence of modern dance proves that Beijing is already reaching to that maturity. As the artistic director of three troops, Willie Cao shuttles among Beijing, Guangzhou and Hong Kong. He regularly trains his dancers himself. His training emphasizes on the strengthening of the belly, which enables dancers to do all kinds of movements with the core of their bodies remaining stable. He places great emphasis on basic training, which is why his dancers have been praised for their clean-cut movement and impeccable skills. Now the first generation of modern dancers have almost all retired. The second generation we see here has already matured through training, learning at workshops taught by masters and performances. I attended this class as a spectator and it was impossible not to notice the amazing physique of the dancers that comes from the hard work that sculpts their body every day. It's actually fun to watch you giving lectures, you know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Uh, how, how many how many dancers do you have? In uh, the group? Together, the company has uh, 14 dancers. Uh, right. But today we have other uh, friends and our ex dancers and some people that came to uh, audition for the company. So, so it's a mixed group. Of they all look fairly young, I have to say. Right. <laughs> they are young. They are uh, uh, the youngest is about 21, 22. Right. But the oldest is about uh, 40 in their 40s. Yeah. Well, they definitely don't show their age. <laughs> <laughs> well, dancers look younger. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why. People need to dance a bit more. Who are the ones you are willing to take? Okay, uh, well, of course, basically, first of all, they have to be presentable. You know, on stage, you know, you think, okay, that person look uh, uh, absolutely gorgeous, you know? Mm. And then, of course, they have to be, um, uh, have a certain technique, basic technique. At least they have to uh, distinguish the left hands from the right hands, and then they <laughs> <laughs> have a sense of uh, right. movement, vocabulary. Okay. And then, but I think the most important thing is that willingness to, to, to work hard because you know this profession is not uh, very uh, profitable mm. you know, and they cannot get rich okay. uh, with their dancing but you know they would be very happy if they are getting, spending the most of their valuable time in the things that they love most, which is dance. You, your dancers, they may come from different backgrounds, yeah, right. There's mm -hmm. some with some professional right. training yes. experience, some yeah. not, mm -hmm. but you still train them. Yes, right. What do you train them about? Well, actually, I distinguish the train process and the creative process. You know, the training process, where I emphasize very much the very basic thing, you know, how you use the energy, how you understand your body, your muscles, your, your body structure, and how you uh, treat the movement differently but then when you start to do choreography to make dance 
then you have to break all these rules and try to be different. Mm. You know, so this is a lo- like two different conceptions. You know, so the training, I give them like, like you have to eat rice every day. So this is a bowl of rice to give you energy. But how do you cook a dish for people? Then there will be completely different. So it's the imagination. The sky is the limit. How long have I been here in the group?、Uh, this is my second year in the company. In the company, second year. Yes.、Uh, why do you love modern dance? I think it's just so free and he so emotional. It's like what you inside you want to tell、mm-hmm. to the audience and what you feel from the people around you. So in the group, what do you enjoy the most? In the process of training or dancing, I think it's not only shaping the body, but a cultivation of the mind. The heart will become calm and more sensitive, and be more able to find the things in life that normally I cannot find. As the artistic director, Zhao is behind all the work, offering his suggestions to dancers and helping them to perfect their pieces. He says he likes pieces with clean-cut, logical choreography. Sometimes he thinks the problem for young dancers is that they are sometimes a bit too passionate, and they need to find a way to calm themselves down in order to be reasonable. Do you set any boundaries、uh, to your choreographers, to your dancers? Say, when you create your own dances, you have to follow. This, this is the gene of the truth. Yeah, the boundary is. They have to be good. <laughs> well, I mean, artistically, yeah, not artistically, yeah, but not.、Uh, I mean, I want to see the best out of them. You know, but I do not say you must do something that I like, that I want. You know, I I don't set a preliminary boundary. Say, you know, okay, this is the f- sort of thing that I want.、Mm. You create something. In fact, I would be more happy if they create something. Out of this, you know, and so make me so surprised. I would like to see more of that.、Mm. And so far, have they achieved that?、Uh, some did, some not.、Hey. But it's always that. <laughs> They're still listening. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So that's why I, I say it very、uh, diplomatically. Right. <laughs> but right. I think they know. They know. You know, they, like, my reactions always like I give encouragement.、Mm. I never say bad words to them, and I never. Uh, ask them to change according to my will. I give comments, I give suggestions, but they also know that whether they want to accept it, it's, it's up to them. Up to them.、Mm. It's up to them. And、uh, yeah, I try not to give them too much pressure、mm. from a leader, you know, like a like a group leader、yeah. thing.、Uh, but of course, you know, they some <laughs> most of the time they listen to me. <laughs> That's a, for, for me. I think it's a, I don't know, catch twenty two. You know, right, you, you, right. You, you want them to be really independent, and sometimes you think, okay, this would be better if you do that way. Yeah.、Um, but I'm not pushing not, you, yeah, but I strongly yeah, suggest. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's、uh, how how it works. But I think it's good. You know, this kind of.、Um, We are like friends. Right. They they know that I am really very,、um, very easy person. Born into a family with a successful business in Hong Kong, Tao immediately fell in love with modern dance in middle school years when he watched the show. He learned modern dance as a selective course when he studied in the U.S. After he finished his MBA degree in Hong Kong, he decided to follow his true love, modern dance. He established Hong Kong's first modern dance company, CCDC, in 1979 when he was 24 years old. Initially, he was a dancer and the manager, but after a foot injury, he decided to simply be a manager. The troops go through rough financial patches, and Tao sometimes has to put money from his family business into it, but he thinks it's all worth it.
the thing is, I mean, you're not just an, an average dancer. You, you run these companies. Right, 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 right. Well, well you're not pressurized by, you know. <laughs> but, well, fortunate enough, I was born in a business family. Exactly. Yeah, so I run a, um, and my parents left me with a, a fortune. And then, of course, I started uh, to um, continue the business. So I still run the business uh, with my staff there. That's a, uh, that's a money earner. So the money I got, I invested in the in the dance company, uh, invested into something that I love. It must be true love. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, well, well, people say, you know, how much do you lose in the in the in the, or how much you sacrifice for yes. the art? I say, you know, I I don't really consider it's a set sacrifice. Mm. It's something that you love. Like if you buy a house, you don't think how much you lose on the house, or you buy a beautiful vase, or you buy a beautiful painting. You know, for me, these are the most beautiful painting, or most beautiful art piece that has the value in it. And then I was fortunate enough to have all these young people working and collaborating, and you know, just like a family that you cannot buy. Over the past three decades, Tao and his troops have created a lot of renowned modern dance pieces, including The Cold Dagger, All River Red, Unspeakable, and Before the Darkness. Apart from staging their original pieces at theaters, Tao and his troops have traveled extensively throughout the Chinese mainland, Hong Kong, Europe, and North America. The formidable skills of his dancers and the originality of their works have not only caught widespread international attention, but also captured the imagination of many artists in China. <laughs> Your troop and either the one in Beijing or the one in Guangzhou mm -hmm. in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. you travel a lot mm -hmm. overseas yes, to perform. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, what are the feedbacks like? Well, they're always big surprise because, uh, especially like Europe and uh, in the States, you know, they kind of expect China is kind of uh, yes, you are doing some modern, but it should be something like Chinese. Chinese, you know, they are always looking for maybe some handkerchiefs, uh, some ribbon, a uh, dragon, you know. You know, a little bit the Chinese cultural yeah, element. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. the, um, uh, the sign, the signature. You know, they always look for that, and they always dis disappointed. They found nothing there, but again, it's always pleasantly surprised to them because they see real people in the work. You know, they see, ah, this is what a real young Chinese is look like. And you know all these international art festivals, they every day they collect these kind of exchange of ideas, of creativity. They're really looking for some modern art. Mm. They never come to look for traditional art. You know, the traditional art you can see it in the public. Mm. You know, but the international festivals, every year they come to Beijing, to Shanghai, to Guangzhou, they look for real creative things that can represent China. They, they are interested. China is developing so fast, but what's the mind behind China? Mm. Why did it so becoming so uh, uh, economically so advanced? There must be something else there. There must be some creative mind behind this. Mm. Where can they find it? They come to a theater like this. They look at the, see uh, these young people, how they use their body. Mm. Where did their energy come from? That's so directly reflected in our younger generation. That's the future of China. Tao is also an avid promoter of modern dance. He will give a short lecture before every one of his troupe shows. He also promotes modern dance at universities.
Cao treats his troop members as his family, frequently posting their photos and introducing their works on his blog. In this free, relaxed environment, the dancer's creativity is fully encouraged and stimulated. He launched the annual Beijing Modern Dance Festival in 2008. The two-week-long festival is a paradise for dance lovers, gathering modern dance groups from around the world. It also includes a dance camp, both for professionals and beginners to receive training from established artists. And amateurs can try the moves out themselves. said earlier dancers don't really show their age right. same case on you I mean we don't really <laughs> see that okay. but I mean reaching that stage in uh -huh. Chinese culture mm -hmm. means a lot right. and uh -huh. that that magical figure mm. at 60 do you do you see things differently now I think I'm much more relaxed now <laughs> I must say you know but like before I would be very upset if someone criticize modern dance or saying bad things about modern dance. Now I say, okay, they don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so they need to be educated. Yeah. You know, how, you know, what can I do to help? Mm -hmm. you know, so I think it's much more easy for me. And, and it's also because I see so much younger generation coming and then they, take, they share my works or sometimes they pick up my, mm. my roles and I'm happy to pass on to them. So the society is starting to calm down a bit and mm -hmm. we all learn to calm down right, a yeah, bit yeah. and that's when we can sit back and yes. enjoy the beauty yes. of contemporary modern dance. Yes, right, yeah. That thank you, great. thank you very okay, much for great. your time. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> right.